This is sharp, but is this sharp? Probably should be. What's up guys, Dan here, Cole Cracker Bushcraft. That's right, today we're gonna to be talking about sharp 90 degree spines on knives, and if your knife doesn't have it, how to add it on to your knife, maybe. Depends on your knife. Okay, so in the world of bushcraft and survival, a sharp 90 degree spine is a vital part of your knife. Now, you can definitely get away without having it, but to me, and the way I teach, and just the methods I use myself, this edge, okay, is probably about 60% of the battle when it comes to this tool, and this edge back here is the last 40, because I use this 90 degree spine like crazy. But here's the thing, some blades are gonna come without a 90 degree spine, that does not mean that they are bad blades and I hear people say that all the time they talk about a knife at class followed by but I'm not gonna buy that because it's a piece of junk it doesn't have a 90 degree spine that is don't don't be one of those people that say that that is not an accurate statement knives come in all shapes and sizes and for different purposes and that is what you need to realize when you're buying a knife so if you find a knife and you really like it and it doesn't have a sharp 90 degree spine it might just be because the maker of that knife be it a big company or an individual didn't make it and design it for the specific purpose you may need it for so it still may be a really good knife it just might not be exactly what you need so if you're in the realm of what we do here, bushcraft, I say when you buy your knife, just make sure it has that 90 degree spine on it. Most of the time, most makers are gonna say if it has a sharpened 90 degree spine. If it's a custom maker, you could probably email them and say, hey, can you add a spine? It literally takes only a few seconds on their grinder to uh, make that happen. But if you bought a knife and it doesn't have that spine, I'm gonna talk about today, after all of that information I just gave you, how you might be able to put that on. And I say might because there's a lot of different factors. First of all, if you bought a knife that is coated, okay, that has like a thicker painted coating on it, many of those knife makers do that to protect the blade from rusting or from any type of pitting over time. So if that's the case, those knives, I say, don't even tr waste your time, don't even try to put this 90 degree spine on. And here's why. That paint, all right, goes down the side of the blade and it's across the spine. So if you take your file, which we're going to show you here in a little bit, and you file that top, okay? Although that top is getting nice and flat, you might be able to file off all that paint or that coating, the sides still have it on it, okay? So think about this nice sharp piece of metal now with the top exposed and the sides have like almost like a spray foam on it, okay? You just can't get that edge that you need. So then what people start doing is they start filing the edge and at that point, like you're just destroying your knife. Just keep the knife as is and maybe get a different knife. Maybe you have just a cheaper knife like a Mora and it, has a little like soft edge to it, okay? That can definitely be turned into a 90 degree spine. It just takes a little bit of work. The second thing is if you have a knife that already has somewhat of a sharp edge and how you're gonna tell that is literally just run it across your finger, the same as if you were gonna put it on a ferro rod or a piece of fat wood. And it, it should have like some sharpness there. Not that it's cutting you, but like it should be biting into your skin a little bit. So if you have that and you wanna touch it up, do this. All right, so what you're gonna do Get your file, medium or fine grit, Pr preferably fine if you can find it, okay, or whatever you sharpen your ax with if you use a file. Then you're gonna take your knife, somewhat of a flat surface, put the blade edge down, and then what we're gonna do is we're just going to slide our file. Remember, file's only cut in one direction, it's when you're pushing away from you. So we're going to just slide it across the top of our knife. Now, as you do that, you should hear your file cutting the metal away from your knife. If during this process the file sounds like it's running across glass, like that it's just like like sliding across and you really can't even see it cutting into the metal, bad news. The knife is probably too hard for you to be able to file. Now, that's again, not a bad thing. The knife maker just made that knife on the harder side of the spectrum, okay? So if that's the case, you're probably gonna have to somewhat like just eat it and say, listen, this knife ain't gonna get a sharp edge on the backside and just move on with your day. But if it does cut in like you heard, which I'll show you one more time here in a second, then just continue that process. One of the most important things as you do this, okay, when you run your 
file across the top of this. You can hear it, listen. You could hear it cutting, okay? You can hear it cutting and you can see it. You don't wanna rock your file. That's why I say if you go on a nice flat surface, okay? Generally, you can't do that because your file's gonna hit all right, that flat surface where your hand's gonna hit that flat surface. If you start to do that, you can see that motion. We're gonna round off the edge. We are not going to flatten the edge, okay? Now, as you do that a little bit, what you don't wanna do is then after a little bit, turn your knife and then start trying to work the side. <laughs> You're not gonna make a 90 degree angle that way. You're better off just going across the top and even if there's a little bit, of, it feels like there's a little like lip there, just let it on there. It will work itself out, trust me. That is like a little snow plow on that edge. I'm not gonna say that's better, um, than that 90 degree edge, but that little edge is gonna help a little bit and over time it'll wear off and you'll be good to go. All right, so there you go. That is what you're gonna do if your knife doesn't have a good sharp 90 degree spine on it. Now, if your knife has a 90 degree spine and it feels like it's getting a little bit dull or worn, or maybe it just came from the maker and it just doesn't, you're like, this could be a little bit sharper, I think, okay? I would probably forego this and go with a sharpening stone. Now, Cole Cracker sells these real nice little sharpening stones but we're gonna just use the one we have around camp today okay so you're gonna do that you're gonna wet this stone which I'm not gonna do because I don't have any water right next to me um, but you're gonna wet your stone the same as if you were sharpening your knife and then you're gonna do this stone and knife same process as the file we're gonna find a flat surface and we're gonna place our stone on top and then we're just gonna push it away from us okay I don't want you doing circles because I don't want that edge to get rounded off. So a lot of times when people do circles, they start to tilt their wrist and that's gonna get an edge, okay? So if it was already a sharp 90 degree spine, literally nice and light, just let it, your stone lay on there, push it across one or two times like this and feel it. It should come back really quick with the stone. You don't have to work on this forever, okay? Literally, you're just taking this and keeping that angle, work it across a few times. Feel, I can tell you that already is getting a little bit sharp and you'll be good to go. All right, and there you go, knife. 90 degree spine, ready for striking ferro rods, scraping fat wood, making shavings off of any dried wood. Just a great accessory to your knife. Again, I think it's very important, not only this edge, but this edge too. All right, so before I cut out, <laughs> If you like this video, hit like and subscribe down below. I am just full of woods humor. Oh. But hit the like and subscribe button down below. Also go over, check us out at coalcrackerbushcraft.com for all our merchandise and our classes and all that good stuff. And then uh, I know you're gonna say, where'd you get the knife? Um, these are gonna be available really soon. I'll put the link, no, no link in the description because they're not available yet. They're gonna be available really soon. Um, so you'll be good to go. They're gonna be like our economy line of knives. Really nice, right? But. Uh, Cool. All right. Uh, till next video. Stay in the woods.